Welcome, future Titans. This is College for a Day. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. That was clean. That was clean. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Jim Ritchie, president of Eastern Florida State College. And I'd like to welcome you to our fifth annual College for a Day. We're excited to have you here today so our students, faculty, and staff can tell you about the many educational opportunities we have at EFSC. I can tell you it's great to be a Titan. And here's some of the reasons why. We offer more than 100 degrees and programs, giving you many ways to pursue a successful and rewarding career. The programs include 25 bachelor degree tracks in business, healthcare, and computer technologies, all fields with excellent job opportunities. We also have fully online programs and degrees available for associate's degrees and some bachelor degrees. Our tuition is highly affordable with many scholarships available. We also have seamless transfer options for other colleges and universities such as UCF, Florida Tech, and others after earning an associate's degree. Another big plus is a vibrant student life with a host of clubs, activities, and nationally ranked sports teams. Please enjoy our great speakers and workshops today. I encourage you to take full advantage of this opportunity to interact with the EFSC team. So, feel free to ask questions and familiarize yourself with the various career options available. And please seek out enrollment assistance in our admissions application workshops at the end of the day. Congratulations on your senior year. We hope you enroll at EFSC and go Titans. And now, our students. Thank you, Dr. Ritchie, and a special thank you to our cheer team for kicking this off. Hi everyone, I had a quick time to change. I'm Austin, Melbourne Campus SGA President. I'm also involved with Cryptocurrency Club, FFEA, Pi Theta Kappa, and the Site Club. I'll be graduating with my AA degree this spring and plan to transfer to the University of Miami or the University of Florida to study international business. Melbourne is home to our Student Union, Public Safety Institute, Health Science Institute, and more. Melbourne is unique because it is the hub to all our athletic teams, as Dr. Ritchie mentioned. We have nationally ranked teams. I would know because I'm part of the cheer team. We have a lot of fun lined up for you today. You'll hear from our guest speaker, former NFL player, Michael Cador. Join interactive breakout sessions and workshops, and maybe even win some awesome prizes, including scholarships. But first, I'd like to introduce you to some of my friends. Say hi, Kira. Ted and Michael. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your home campus. Hello and congratulations on your senior year. I'm Kiara. I'm the SGA president on the Palm Bay campus. I'm currently working on my AA degree and plan to transfer to the University of Central Florida to study mechanical engineering. The classes I'm taking in Palm Bay are giving me a great start. Let me tell you what I love the most about the play. It's the people. Everyone is so welcoming, outgoing, and full of Titan pride. Joining a club is a great way to meet people. That's what I did, and now I'm helping to start my own brand new club for gamers. With our active student life, there's something for everyone. Palm Bay also has many technical, vocational, and health science programs. Thanks, Kira. Next up, my friend Ted. Hey guys, I'm Ted and I play the trumpet for the college. I am currently working on my AA degree to eventually earn a bachelor's degree at Eastern Florida State College in sports management. It's pretty cool that I can pursue my educational goals and my passion for music all at the same time. The college even has music scholarships for students. So if you're into music, come check out the music sessions today. Not only is COCO home to our music and our fine arts programs, but we also have STEM programs such as aerospace, workforce programs such as welding and machining, and a lot more. Awesome, thanks Ted. Hey Michael, tell us about Titusville. Hi everyone, I'm Michael, and I'm a graduate of EFSC with my AA degree. And guess what? I'm still here working on my bachelor's degree in business management on the Titusville campus. I've served on the Titusville campus student government for the past three years. My goal after graduation is to find a job in the corporate field. This campus is on 120 anchors next to the Indian River Lagoon and right next to the Chain of Lakes Park. Our campus specializes in information technology as well as environmental, natural, and life sciences. But of course, you can take general AA degree classes here just like I did. Now back to you, Austin. Thanks, Michael. There's truly something for everyone at each campus. 
Up next, it is with great pleasure that we introduce you to our keynote speaker, EFSC's very own COCO Campus Associate Provost, Michael Cador. Then you will hear from someone you may know, our college and career specialist, Myron Campbell, with tips and tricks how to get the most out of your day. We hope to see you online or on campus soon. Michael A. Cador Sr. is a community leader with more than three decades of experience in education, public safety, civic and community engagement, and mentoring. He currently serves as the Associate Provost for COCO Campus. In November of 2019, he retired from the Rockledge Police Department and now serves his city as a Rockledge City Councilman. Mr. Cador holds a Master's Degree in Management and Leadership from Webster University and a Bachelor of Science degree in Corrections and Administration of Justice from Eastern Kentucky University. He currently is a doctoral education student at Capella University. Before becoming a law enforcement officer, Mr. Cador earned a national recognition at Eastern Kentucky University as a record-setting kick returner. After college, Mr. Cador was drafted into the National Football League by the New Orleans Saints. He finished his professional career in Montreal, Canada. He was inducted into the Space Sports Hall of Fame in 2014 and the Eastern Kentucky University Athletic Hall of Fame in 2020. Mr. Cador keeps faith and family first. He has been faithfully and happily married to his high school sweetheart, Cornelia Cador, for 29 years and have three children. Mr. Cador embraces and strives daily to live by the motto, if you don't serve your community now, don't expect your community to serve you later. Please join us for welcoming Michael Cador. Well, good morning. As stated earlier, my name is Michael Cador. I'm the Associate Provost here at Eastern Florida State College. And it's truly an honor to give you a message this morning. First of all, thank you, Dr. Ritchie, for that amazing greeting and welcome. Thank you for your leadership and your vision. To our amazing students, I know you noticed all of those outstanding cheerleaders that we have here at Eastern Florida State College. And thank you to those for that outstanding introduction. The message that I'm gonna share with you today is something that's hopefully that will not only get you through the college for a day, but something that you can carry with you for the rest of your life. As an alumni here at Eastern Florida State College, it is truly my honor to serve in a variety of capacity. But it's the love and the family here at Eastern Florida State College that makes us so amazing. You see, that's where I strengthen my already optimistic mindset by having faculty and staff and peers who encourage me to succeed. Here at Eastern Florida State College, we're all victorious because we're a family that works together. Go Titans. The mission of Eastern Florida State College is to engage our diverse population in quality accessible learning opportunities that allow you to succeed. We're considered one of the tops in, this, in the state and even in the nation. Here at Eastern Florida State College, we're here to educate you, empower you, and encourage you to succeed. I challenge each of you to be ambitious to set goals and realize that it's just not this magical power that's gonna overcome you for you to be able to succeed. But remember, the main objective is about that journey and to enjoy the journey of life. So as you go into these breakout sessions, I encourage you to stay focused and embrace the wonderful information that you're about to receive. I would like to leave you with some principles that will not only allow you to succeed in life, but while you're here at Eastern Florida State College. Preparation. Remember to always dream big. You know, as a young kid, I would always have these dreams of playing uh, professional football, starting my own business, and traveling the world. But I had to realize that I had to prepare myself. You have to put in the work. So take advantage of these sessions, but take notes. Preparation is so important. You know, I was never the biggest or the strongest or definitely not the brightest, but I prepared myself and I had a mindset that no one was going to outwork me. So put in the work, have fun, and enjoy the journey. Please know that Eastern Florida State College, our amazing faculty and staff, has prepared some amazing breakout sessions, but they're here for you 
afterwards. Patience. As young individuals, at times, we, we want to get things very quickly. We don't want to put any time. We want that immediate success. Once again, enjoy the journey. Be engaged, be respectful, but be encouraged. About being patient. I can recall as I was playing football my junior year in high school and wasn't playing very much, one of my teammates that I grew up with would tell me, hey, are you bringing a coffee? I'll bring the donuts. But we sat there on the bench and was hoping the score would be so large enough that we can get into the game. But when our opportunity came, by being patient and not quitting, we excelled because we were prepared. I can recall family members, hang on in there, your time is going to come. Don't give up. And that's the thing that I would like to share with you. As you prepare yourself and dream big, be patient. There's a sense of pride. You know, I'm a proud EFBC alumni. But I'm, by the way, of Titusville High School. So some of you watching today may be here at Titusville High School representing. But throughout Brevard County, I proudly serve my community in a variety of capacities. Not only within my city of Rockledge, but here in Brevard County and throughout the state. Remember, proudly serve your community and represent your family and your community well. Huge shout out once again to our faculty and staff and everyone here at Eastern Florida State College. Because as I stated, they're like family to not only allow you to be able to see, succeed, but have others to succeed as well. Professionalism. In your sessions, you're going to be able to meet some great professional faculty and staff. We have four amazing campuses, Titusville, Cocoa, Melbourne, and on Palm Bay, but we also have some amazing e-learning as well. In my transition from professional sports, you know, at times we, we have to make that change. But being professional prepared me. You know, see, as I was up in Canada in the off season, I was very fortunate to come back here in Brevard County. And on the Melbourne campus is where I became certified as a correctional officer, later to be certified as a law enforcement officer as well. Maintain that professionalism, not only in your appearance, but also in the words that you speak. Speak very encouraging words to yourself and also those who you're going to be working around. I'm so grateful that Eastern Florida State College provided me with an opportunity, but not just for me, but for my entire family. I proudly use those services and certifications still to this day. Persistence. This is one of those big ones. On this journey, you must have persistence and don't quit. I can assure you, your success doesn't come because you think you are the greatest. You must surround yourself with greatness. Learn from great mentors, but more importantly, never give up. Every step in life, there's going to be some challenges. There are going to be some storms that are going to come up, but don't quit. Check that inner circle. Who are you around that's influencing you right now? Are they influencing you to do what is right? Are they influencing you to do what is wrong? Especially to my seniors, would have loved for you to come to Eastern Florida State College, but have that mindset to be around those who are going to encourage you to do what is right. And when the time is tough and you'll have them, make sure that you fight through it and don't quit. You say at Eastern Florida State College, we also have great support services that during those challenging and uncertain times, we're here to see you succeed. Not just in our amazing libraries that we have, our student access for improved learning, that team is known as SAIL, our student government, you've seen our student athletes our cheerleaders just a moment ago, but also our Academic Student Success Center, and even TRIO for our first time in college students. Our amazing security to make sure that you're safe are just a few of some of the great sources, resources that we have here at Eastern Florida State College. As I reflect on my success that I've achieved, it's due to a great support team. My faith, family, and friends have always been there for me, so that's why it's important for me to continue to give back. That leads me to my last principle, and that is praise. Remember to always thank those who have helped you along the way. When was the last time you thanked someone for encouraging you to be able to get through a difficult time? When was the last time you thanked someone for just saying you're going to be okay? 
it's truly an honor for me to serve as the Associate Provost here at Eastern Florida State College. I encourage and challenge each of you today to take advantage of these breakout sessions. Take those notes. Prepare yourself and have that mindset to continue to dream big, to be patient in all that you do because your time is going to come. And when that time comes, if you prepared yourself, you're going to succeed. Have that sense of pride of representing your hometown, whatever high school that you're from. Eastern Florida State College, go Titans. That sense of professionalism and your appearance and the words that you speak, remember that. But don't give up and be persistent. And lastly, that praise. I'd like to shift over real quick to my adoptive nephew. Got something for you. Now, don't make me look bad, nephew. I got you. You got me? I got you. You know, I was a kick return. I was not a quarterback. <laughs> so it was my job to catch the ball and not pass it. So I'm going to take my time. Hopefully I can channel your catching abilities here. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> so at this time, I'd like to turn it over to my adoptive nephew, our outstanding college recruitment specialist, Myron Campbell. Caught it. All right. Thank you. So you mentioned that you were a kick returner, but I didn't know that you had a cannon too. So we have a big game coming up on Sunday and we're in the presence of a former NFL draft pick. So in the spirit of the game, Tampa Bay versus the Kansas City Chiefs, who do you like to win? Well, first of all, I'm just thrilled to be able to uh, see a Florida team is in the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, first and foremost. I will always be a diehard New Orleans Saints fan. But, you know, you look at Tom Brady and, and the greatness that he brings to the team and um, as well as Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going to go with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Great There's answer. a small reason why <laughs> I kind of like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and you could probably share that. But in the Cadora household, me and my daughter, one of them are New Orleans Saints fans, but the rest of them are Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's a great answer. I must say I'm going with the Tampa Bay Bucks too, being born in Tampa. Uh, but myself, much like you, I'm also a Brevard County resident. I'm an alumni of Cocoa High School, and we also both graduated from Eastern Florida State College as well. So another small quick fact about the game on Sunday, we do have a alumni from Cocoa High School, Jamel Dean, who will be playing out at the Super Bowl. He plays defense for Tampa Bay, and he's in his second year. So coming from a former NFL draft pick and a former professional player and also a very knowledgeable person, I must say so myself, if you could give the Tampa Bay Bucks some words of encouragement, what would they be to help win this game on Sunday? Well, when you, when you make it to this level, you definitely have put the time in. So anytime you're going into a sport, when you're practicing and working hard all week, game day, it's time to have fun. So that's what I would tell them. Get out there understand your assignments, understand your role, play loose, and have fun. I'm so glad that you mentioned Jamel Dean being here from Brevard County. We have another uh, Brevard County native that played for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers by the name of Leon Bright. And, you know, so I'm so thrilled to not only see this young man take it to the next level, but I'm so impressed with, of his humbleness and the hard work that he has put in to get to this level. We're very proud of you, young man. And win or lose, Brevard County is going to always have you in our heart. All right, so we definitely have to cheer on the Bucks. Go Bucks! Now, let's transition a little bit. After you earned your degree and you spent some time playing football professionally in Canada, what brought you back to Brevard County? Well, she's about 5'1". She was my high school sweetheart. And she even told me in Montreal, when you come back to the States, we're going to get married. So that actually kind of <laughs> brought me back. But in that transition, you know, I had to find myself being able to what am I going to do next? Though I majored in criminal justice and in corrections, it was so important for me to work in my community in an aspect of uh, being able to serve and protect. So I went to an academy. And while I was in the academy, I prepared myself to get into the academy, I got that call to go back to Montreal. And I was very, very fortunate not only being able to go back, but in the off season, I worked at the Brevard County Sheriff's Office as a correction officer, and then during the season, I was returning kick return. So you've always been a, a busy man, that is for sure. Um, now, you mentioned earlier about your education. Were you also a Eastern Florida student? Uh, yes, uh, I had an opportunity that my wife actually took classes here before she transitioned up to, to Jacksonville to finish her degree. 
but a lot of my certification and training came here. As I mentioned earlier, I became certified as a correctional officer. I also became um, certified in law enforcement and took a lot of other classes that allowed me to be an adjunct instructor here uh, in success strategies here at Eastern Florida State College. Wow, you definitely have worn a lot of different hats while you've been here. Um, now you're our associate provost. Tell us a little bit about what it's like to support our students in your role as the associate provost. Wow, thank you. Well, one of the things I would like to share for the, those who are listening and watching, especially the seniors, my role is kind of like a, a vice principal on a high school campus. My role is to support our campus provost. Shout out to Dr. Sibley, my amazing boss here on the Cocoa campus here at Eastern Florida State College. But my role is not only in being that ambassador for you, it is my job to be able to work with the students if you have any concerns and or complaints. And if there are some problems, I have to enforce a student code of conduct here at Eastern Florida State College. But the thing that I love about it most is watching students coming to my office and allowing them to nurture and grow and seeing them be able to graduate. All right. So one last question for you, and I think that this is an important one. Uh, why is education important to you? Education is, is so important. You know, the easy reason is it gets you opportunities in being able to open up doors. But see, the way that our world is now in different changes, education, it gives you that power. Getting at education is something they can never take away from you. So I'd always encourage those, whether you're striving to get your AA or your AS, or even now your bachelor's degree, here at Eastern Florida State College, we have so many additional programs that you can come in and get. Aviation, uh, cosmetology, just to be able to name a few. So education is important. So continue to read, continue to learn, but be so grateful in being able to give back to your community. Well, education is the reason why we're here today. First and foremost, I would like to say, let's give a virtual round of applause and a thank you for AP Cador for being here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and talk a little bit about AP. If, for those who don't know AP, um, He's definitely, like I said, one of those people that you will never forget. He, he becomes a family member for you. Um, a lot of us call him Uncle Mike or, or Cousin Mike. Um, as you noticed, he called me nephew earlier. So he's definitely one of the people that you want to have in your, you know, in, your, in your back pocket, in your phone, uh, to be able to reach out, ask questions, mentor, and so on. So virtual round of applause for AP. Thank you for being here. Now, the principles of success are truly words of wisdom for anyone looking to be successful in college. So I would know, I'm the college and career specialist here at Eastern Florida State College, um, and it's my job to get seniors like you guys ready for life after high school graduation. So some of you may know me from one-on-one -on -one meetings, maybe you've gotten a phone call from me, or maybe you've received an email, um, but we are so very excited to have everyone here for College for a Day. Now, let's talk a little bit about the schedule. You should have received the program in an email when you signed up. Now, you can also access this at any time by using the bit.ly link, bit.ly slash CFAD schedule. That's C-F-A-D-S-C-H-E-D-U-L-E. And our event program is interactive, meaning that you can click on the links and they will take you to the session that you want to join. In. Now, one thing that we want you to do is to be sure to read about the meta majors before reviewing your options so you know what sessions you would like to go to. Now, you're going to have the opportunity to go to four different breakout sessions, and each of these breakout sessions are 30 minutes in length. Keep in mind that you don't have to go only to sessions that are related to the meta major that you chose in the registration process. Feel free to explore different areas of interest. That's what today is all about, exploring your options. Now, one session that you don't want to miss is the closing session. Who likes free stuff? Be sure to come back for the closing session as we'll be giving away lots of awesome prizes. Now, just click the closing session link as early as 1215 to be taken to that session. Now, how many of us are ready to apply for Eastern Florida State College? We do have application workshops, uh, which are done by appointment only, and you do have to visit bit.ly slash CFAD workshop. That's C-F-A-D 
W-O-R-K-S-H-O-P. Now our appointments start at 1.30 and they are limited, so make sure that you reserve your seat now. Now last point about the event program. If at any point during the day you need assistance, you can visit the virtual help desk by clicking on one of the green question mark icons and these are located throughout the event program. Now these, this will take you directly to our virtual help desk and you can also reach the virtual help desk by visiting this bit.ly link bit.ly slash cfad help that's cfad help now let's talk a little bit about virtual conference etiquette be sure to mute yourself while our presenters are speaking unless asked otherwise uh, when in doubt you can always wait until the q a session um, we will always have a time for that at the end and you can also use the chat function to communicate with the presenters as well. We'll make sure that we have someone watching the chat for any questions that might be there. Now lastly, these sessions are going to be recorded, so please be on your best behavior during the event. Now I know that this is a virtual experience, but you are attending a college for a day, so we want you to make the most out of your experience today. How many of you guys are on social media? Now, if you are, make sure you follow at Eastern Florida. And then also, if you're joining us here today, make sure you, you kind of document it. Um, if you want to use the hashtag future EFFC Titan, that would be great. And you might even win some prizes at the closing session. Now, we're ready to get started. We're going to give you until 10 a.m., which is when the first breakout session starts, to read the program and kind of make some selections. Now we want to know what you're interested in. So we're going to give you a couple of minutes. Enjoy your first breakout session. And we're so happy to have you here today. We hope that you enjoy your day at Eastern Florida State College. Thank you.